Question 6 to 9 in the ASA purple paper. Question 6. Which of the following is the best estimate of the amount of X that decomposes in the first 100 minutes? So we go from our initial concentration of X, which is 0.100, to our concentration of X after 100 minutes, which is about 0.025. So therefore, the amount that has uh, been lost, that has decomposed from our initial point to 100 minutes is going to be equal to um, 0.1 minus 0.025 which is about 0.075 so therefore the uh, correct answer would be D as that is the closest answer to 0.075 in question 7 we're asked which of the following is the best estimate of the value of T3 quarters for the decomposition of X so we're told in the stem that T half is called the half-life and the half-life is the time taken for the concentration of a compound to decrease by half of its initial concentration. So therefore T three quarters, what we're being asked for, is going to be the time taken for the concentration of a compound to decrease by three quarters of its initial concentration. So what is the concentration of X when it's been reduced by three quarters? So our initial concentration is 0.100 and if we're going to reduce it by 3 quarters then we're going to be reducing it by 0.075 so therefore the concentration of X once it's been reduced by 3 quarters is 0.025 so we've got to find uh, this concentration of X on the graph and if we look across we'll note that the time uh, when the concentration of X is 0.025 is 100 minutes. So therefore, the T3 quarters is going to be equal to 100, 100 minutes. So therefore, the correct answer for question 7 is C. Question 8. Which of the following is the best estimate of the rate of decomposition of X 30 minutes after the solution was made? So the rate of decomposition is going to be equivalent to the gradient of the graph at uh, time 30 minutes. Now the uh, gradient is equal to rise over run uh, or also known as uh, change in y over change in x. So to figure that out what you need to do is you need to draw a line that is tangential to the, uh, to the curve at point 30 at time 30. So you need to draw that uh, nice tangential line. Now um, it's a bit rough in this diagram but um, what you can do is on the diagram in the actual ACE paper you can get your pen or pencil and you can line it up um, against that graph for point 30 making sure it's nice and tangential um, and then what you'll find is that the uh, the rise over run will look something hopefully like this so you'll hopefully get 0.095 or somewhere close it doesn't have to be too exact as long as you're close um, over about 100 minutes so that's equivalent to 9.5 times 10 to the negative 2 divided by 100 which is equal to 9.5 times uh, 10 to the negative 4. So therefore the correct answer for question 8 is C. Question 9. Is the decomposition of X a first order reaction? So as I stated on the screen, a first order reaction is a chemical reaction in which the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the reacting substance. So what we're essentially saying is that um, at the start, so we have this container and it's full of reactant. At the start, there's a lot of reactant around, hanging around. So the rate of reaction is going to be quite high. But as the reaction proceeds, the rate of reaction is going to go down. Um, and that's because there's just simply less reactant to react with. So what we'd expect is as time goes on, the rate of reaction slowly decreases. So what we get is um, something similar to what we've got in our graph. So at the start, um, you'll notice that the concentration of X goes down quite quickly. And that's because there's a lot of X hanging around. Um, 
but as time goes on, the concentration of x uh, decreases, but at a much slower rate. And that's because there's just less, less x to go around, less x to react. So um, it seems that the decomposition of x is a first order reaction. And the really important thing to note about first order reactions, and it's quite unique to first order reactions, is that the half-life is always constant. So that is, no matter what the concentration of x is, the time taken to reduce that concentration of x by half is always the same amount of time, no matter what. At the start of reaction, in the middle, towards the end, always the same. And um, that sort of helps us pick the right answer in question 9. So, uh, yes, X is an example of a first order reaction, um, and the concentration decreases to 0.5 uh, in the first 50 minutes, so we've decreased by half, the half-life is therefore 50 minutes, and to 0.025 in the next 50 minutes, so what we're saying is that we uh, decrease by another half in the same amount of time, i.e. our half-life is constant. Um, therefore, we can fully confirm that this is a first order reaction um, because the uh, not only does the graph appear to have the characteristics of a first order reaction, but the half-life appears to be constant no matter where we are in that uh, the course of the reaction. So therefore, D is the correct answer for question 9.